trend. We're con continuing our triple digit trend. Uh, and unfortunately, our air quality is not looking so great either. Brandon Michaels joining us now with more. And Brandon, hopefully you have uh, some better news for us. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not. <laughs> I, I really, I don't right. have very I'm, much I'm good news at all. I kind of knew that answer, but you know, I just wanted to, you know. Throw it out there anyway. Yeah, yeah, you surprise, could hope, you know. If we saw maybe a dramatic change <laughs> since yesterday, but unfortunately that's not the case. And the best I can do over the next seven days is 99. And even that might be stretching it. Heat advisory remains in effect through our Saturday full the valley and the Kern River Valley and all up the Central Valley. So there's a lot of heat to track still in the state. If you want to beat that heat this weekend, you're having, going to have to get to the coast. We are going to be staying dry, though. For the most part, that's been the case today as well. Satellite and radar showing the monsoon very active to our east. It's been very active so far this summer. What has not been very active this summer is the tropics. We haven't seen too many tropical systems moving in, but that may change here this weekend. We are keeping an eye on potential tropical cyclone four, which could impact far southern Texas as a tropical storm here on Saturday. So we'll keep an eye on that because we don't have to be watching the radar here in Kern County tomorrow or on Sunday. No rain chances for us, but still a lot of heat in the forecast. 106 in Bakersfield, 103 in McFarland, 104 over in Taft, 107 at Ridgecrest and 92 in Tehachapi. So pretty hot weather just about anywhere you look in Kern County. Winds typical 25 to 30 in eastern Kern, 15 to 20 here at home. And Keeley said it really doesn't look great out there as far as the air quality is concerned. Last I checked on healthy for sensitive groups, the current air quality, that is also the forecast air quality for tomorrow. So if you are sensitive to these pollution uh, and air quality issues, take it easy over the weekend. Now, we have a small chance to break out of this heat wave with that little um, trough that's swinging in as we head into the day on Monday. That's going to be really the best chance we have over the next seven days to stay cooler, and it's really not that great of a chance. Certainly well above 100 tomorrow. 97 your high temperature, or excuse me, your temperature by noon. 104 by 4, 106 your high. 103 on Sunday, 99 Monday. We'll hope we can break that heat wave there. Also bringing a 99 back into the forecast on Friday, but overall over the next seven days, we're looking at some hot weather and our heat wave set to continue at least a little bit further. Mountain communities here hovering around 100 in Lake Isabella through about Tuesday. Again, I have taken away that rain chance for Saturday. Right around 90 degrees for Tehachapi and Fraser Park Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures do seem to fall off a little bit for the end of the forecast, and we have brought back some minor rain chances Thursday into Friday. But overall, that rain chance doesn't look very good. Just that occasional isolated shower or thunderstorm looking like a sure thing that we're tracking triple-digit heat that is widespread across Kern County for the next several days.